Well, hello everybody. This is Street Outlaws No Prep Talk. Today we're going to talk about racers preparing for the No Prep Kings Florida event this weekend. Now, please subscribe and comment. Photo credit goes directly to their respective photo owners. And stay tuned for a lot more videos coming. Expect videos this weekend on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday regarding the NPK Florida event. So, we have a couple of racers preparing and upgrading their stuff for Street Outlaws No Prep Kings in Florida this weekend. One of them is Scott Taylor, who got beat last event by Ryan Martin. Now, it still was a very close race. So he took the car out. He went to Bad Habits Fab, and they did some changes on it. One of them is a giant hole in the front of the front end. So the blower can get more air. Evidently, the hole that they had before didn't really feed enough air to the blower. So he was probably losing boost. And he decided to put a huge hole in it. So that should make the car faster. They also tested a lot. And testing is a huge part of being successful as a drag racer. Now, Kaya Kelly, another NOLA guy, he also got beat by Ryan in the last event. Now, supposedly he did have an issue with the tuning part of the engine at that race that made it slower, but he did jank the motor out of it, and even though he does still have a new car coming, it doesn't seem like it's going to be ready for Florida. So he's still going to be borrowing the showstopper camaro which is owned by jeff martin so hopefully he got that fixed and it's ready to roll now the jackal car which made an spectacularly fast pass on grudge at the last event broke the transmission and when they ran against monza they did not make a good pass they literally lost one or two gears something like that i believe so they're getting that fixed as well. That car is ridiculously fast. So trust me, I believe that's one of the fastest cars out there for sure. So hopefully they got the Liberty transmission fixed and they're back at running. Justin Swanstrom, another car that is basically a new build, went really, really fast at the last event. And they're getting some more testing done to it. And this car ran within a third of a car of Ryan Martin. So if they can get it dialed in, it's going to be really, really fast. It's definitely going to be faster than what it was at the last event. And Bill Lutz, even though he is not raising the Invitational right now, he decided to swap from twin turbos to a screw blower. And that car looks amazing with the screw blower. So can't wait to see this car run this weekend. 